Um, okay, so I um, just wanted to ask you quickly. Uh, this is like a reboot Wait, of... did you really have to look up your question on this? <laughs> yeah, I'm nervous. It's the universe. <laughs> Come on. The universe should be coursing through you. <laughs> so right. you're rebooting Carl Sagan's show. Yeah. So what's the difference? Like, what, what are you giving it, like, an added new flavor? Or tell us what's a little bit different this time around. Okay, so... Um, I won't be wearing a turtleneck. <laughs> That's the first obvious difference. No, the, the original series, 34, 33 years ago now, mm. uh, brought science down to earth mm. in a way had, that had never been done before. Normally we think of a science show as, here's your lesson plan and here's the curriculum. And, and that did something different. It said why science matters. And if you didn't think it mattered, it explained to you why it does and why you should embrace all that the scientific investigation of the natural world can do for us because mm -hmm. it transforms cultures, transforms politics, assures a future mm -hmm. that at the time the original came out, it wasn't sure what the future would be. Mm -hmm. We were in the middle of the mm -hmm. Cold War. Mm -hmm. Now we're in the middle of like the climate is changing. There are other issues now mm -hmm. in the 21st century. So we bring the methods and tools and, and, and inquiry of science to bear on the storytelling that will flesh out these 13 episodes of Cosmos. And it's airing on Fox, which is and in prime time. Mm -hmm. It's like, that's a story unto itself, <laughs> right, all right? right? Forget anything I'm telling you. <laughs> it's on Fox, on prime time. People are going to be, they're going to be seeing science. Right. So uh, I think we should be, uh, maybe it's time for that pendulum to swing back because so many people in, in, in America, for example, have been, They've seen science as their enemy or science as something. Well, that's science, and I don't have to believe in it if I don't want it. Yes, you do. That's the interesting thing about science. It's true whether or not you believe in it. Right, so right. come to understand that fact, and let's embrace it and exploit it for our benefit, not mm -hmm. for our loss. Right. You have managed to make science, like, you've become like a pop icon of science. where You've not done something purpose. a lot of people can't do. What's different with you? How do you think you've managed to do that? I, I didn't do you it and on, Bill Nye. I, I didn't do it on purpose. <laughs> I'm just... Trying to mind my own business. <laughs> I have a thought and I like tweet it, mm -hmm. and then it ends up on the evening news. <laughs> what's, what's going on there? I I saw the movie Gravity like everybody else. I had a couple of two. Oh, how come her hair isn't standing up on it? <laughs> Maybe she used moose or something. I don't know. But then it ended up on the evening news. So I don't. Maybe it's because I think of the world in in tasty sound bites because the, the universe is a tasty place. And if you can share it in that way with a public that at least initially may, be, may fear science and perhaps the only way into them is through some sound bites that will inspire interest. I, I have, I have uh, educator colleagues of mine saying, oh, you're, you, you need more than sound bites. You have to give the whole lesson plan. I say, no, I don't. You know why? Because you give the sound bite, then it stimulates interest within them. It gurgles up and then they want to learn more after. And so... What if, if, you, if as an educator, if you can't do that with somebody, go home. Right, right. What are you doing? Right. right. So, so I'm 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 as surprised as others that there's been this attention to my my products. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, my radio show. Mm -hmm. We're doing Cosmos, mm -hmm, the tweets, mm -hmm. the Facebook, mm -hmm. and I. Uh, what it says to me is there's an actual appetite for the universe out there, and I'm just the the feeding mechanism for that appetite. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because people come up to me, yes, they'll ask for autographs and things, but when they're done, they, they've they got a question about black holes, mm -hmm. or about the Big Bang, about mm -hmm. the search for life. Mm -hmm. So I'm I'm food for them. I'm not the end point of their interest. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm a conduit to the cosmos that they are seeking. Gotcha, gotcha. Dr. Tyson, also, can you um, let us know, what do you feel, how is the government shutdown currently affecting NASA? NASA, uh, from the numbers I saw, was hit harder than almost any other agency, which tells me that the government thinks that NASA is, an, is expendable when the budget numbers don't match. And I, I think, okay, the Congress has to fix these problems. And everyone says, oh, they get angry with Congress and want to beat them on the head? And I say, wait a minute. Last I checked, we elected who represents us in Congress. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, who's actually at fault? I want to, like... <laughs> we we vote for these people. Right. So so if they don't serve us, vote them out of office. Put in another set of people. Who do you blame, though? Republicans or Democrats? No, I blame the electorate. Fair the right. electorate. Mm -hmm. 
And so people say, well, why don't you talk, tell, I've, I've, I've addressed Congress before, the Senate and the House, but I don't, I feel dirty doing that mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. they were elected by this group of people over here. And I don't want to talk to change their mind when they don't represent me, they represent these people. So as an educator, I want to talk to these people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Educate them about the the value, the role, the importance of science and exploration on our culture, on our soul of curiosity, and on our economic future. Once I present all of that to them, then let them vote who, who, who they want. I'm not going to tell them who to vote for. I, I, that's how I feel about it. Right, right. Yeah. Great. Great. Thank you. Thank okay. You, all right. Thank you. so much. Thank, Thank you. you.